These demands have been made by the former leader of the National Fellowship of Born Again Pentecostal Churches, Joshua Luere, at the consecration ceremony of his successor, Dr. Moses Odong, as the overseer of this fellowship. The ceremony was held at Kololo ceremonial grounds in the presence of President Cherim Seveni, First Lady Janet Kataham Seveni, and leaders and members of the Born Again Church. This staff, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We have been called in time past that we are only about praying and only praying, but it is now evident that we are not only about praying, we also work. But Tuwede believes that time has finally come for the born again faith in Uganda to be given its due recognition. We've had to have to shout for ourselves, to always have to come, even it is your government that has brought us to even state events. They would never invite us. Rele urges that like the past leaders who fully recognize the traditional religions of Anglicanism, Catholicism and Islam, it now falls on the shoulders of President Jerem Seveni to recognize the born again faith. Now 60 years of our existence, we've never had a single government intervention to just give us a piece of land or even a building that you are doing a wonderful work. This is your place. You also be there so that you can do a work. This is a responsibility that President Jerome Seveni is willing to take on. Like we handled the issue of the, of the registration when you are being oppressed, we sorted it out. Even the issue, even the issue of land will be sorted out. To show his commitment to this cause, the president donated a car to Bishop Odong. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight. The organizing committee.